Hey, how you doing, sis? How y'all doing? Doing all right, doing all right. Thank you, F5, Virginia. What does that stand for? Watchman for Israel. Watchman for Israel. Oh, I love it. Do you know what you uh, know what we out here doing? No. Oh, well, okay. Listen, we'll be out here to sit there, uh, let out people know that we're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Okay. You heard that before? Yes, I've heard of the Israelites, yes. I'm a believer in Christ. Okay, okay. So what do you know as far as Israelites? Are? What do you know as far as the Israelites? Are? Not much. Okay, sister, so we're going to break it down to you right quick. You got okay. some time? I got a few minutes. All right, all right. Go get the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Break it out. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is Moses talking to the Israelites. You know about the story of Moses, correct? Remember when he said there Moses with the Pharaoh? Who did he say to him? God to him and told him to let his people go. Let his people go. Yes. Yeah, so he was talking about a very specific people. Yes, the Israelites. That's right, that's right. This is what he's telling the Israelites when they got out of Egypt. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, according to this context, is the curses a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it's a bad thing for the, the Pharaoh and his people. Uh, no, I told you, Moses is talking to the Israelites right here. Oh, okay, so it's a good thing. No, nah, read it again. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice uh, of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he told the Israelites, listen, the Lord gave me some the law and statutes and commandments to, to relate to y'all. Now, see, if you keep them, you'll be blessed. If you don't, you're going to be cursed. So we're going to go over some of the curses and see what, uh, who this, these curses fit, all right? Verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Curse shalt thou be in the city. Now, when you go into to the other states or just in the general area of Virginia, Norfolk, Portsmouth, there's one particular people that you see, they see that's sleeping on the sidewalk, strung out on drugs, sit there begging for money. What nation of people do you see like that? All people, actually. All people? The vast majority says, do you see like that, though? There we go. It'd be, it'd be, a, it'd be black people. See you on, King. And curse. Shalt thou be in the field? Curse shalt thou be in the field. You know the days of old. Who was getting up from sun up to sun down, working in the blistering heat, getting their back beat in? What nation of people was dealing with that? That's right, sister. She did. She said what? Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. So just like we went over, when our people was cursing the field, working in the blistering heat, they were going out to the little shacks they were had, snatch our babies, sell them to another plantation. Then we see they're working in the field, and there's nothing we can do about it. Our people just stop, start crying, thinking about their child. And then the damn thing we can do about it. They still do that to this day. Child protective services. You spank your child, they come knocking on your door. I heard you sit there with the child's ass. Right. Then they want to sit there and snatch your child from you. Knowing that sit there discipline is what keep our kids in the sit there and shake. It's what keep them in the great right mindset. That's why the most I gave with these curses, because we're his children. That's why we get our ass kicked by him. Right. We do the same thing to our children. But sit there, you see how they can how the uh, you know what nation is doing that to us. White man is sitting there snatching our kids from us. every chance they get. We get uh, 45. Verse 45. Go over all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. This is will be for a sign and wonder. Sister, where you like to eat at? Which one of your favorite spots? I used to eat at home. Oh, you used to cook? Yeah. But when you go over and you go get something, you like to go get it from there. Harris Teeter. Now how you know you're there? You see the sign, right? That's what these curses is for. To tell you who these people are. Everybody ain't dealing with these curses like we are. Right. That's why the Lord said there, that's why the Lord said they put this in the Bible. Now, I see you sit there, you about to go. So let me sit there and get the headbanger for you. Let me get 68. 
Where's 68? You know how we got here, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. You're not sure? You don't know how we got here, sister? I know how oh, we got here. Oh, the boat. There we go. Oh, I thought you meant like here. <laughs> Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, Egypt is synonymous with sitting there, slavery, bondage. You can find that in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Bring that up. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. Bring it up. And it reads, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. It means slavery. People sit there here either. They think, oh, we're going back to that that, that area, that, that that continent. That's not gonna happen. Watch this. Continue on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. And now how we got here? You said it yourself. Huh? Continue on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going back to the old Egypt. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Lord said we have enemies. Continue on. For bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy you, and no man shall buy you, meaning nobody shall redeem you. Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, none of them can get us out of our current situation that we're in. You understand? So we are, that's what we are here doing to snap people that we are the Israelites that, that the Bible speaks of. You know, in churches, they sit there and tell you that you're not supposed to, uh, we don't have to keep the law of the You heard that before, have you? That's not true, though. We're supposed to keep the law. You understand? So, if you understand we're supposed to keep laws, let me get one for you right quick. Give me, uh, what you, you eat pork chops? Shrimp crab lobster? No, shrimp, but not lobster. All right, Leviticus 11. Leviticus 11, and verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall you eat. Anything that we eat that comes out of the water, I supposed to have fans and scales. That's right. Same thing. So, let me ask you one question. Why don't you eat pork? Because it's unclean. That's right. The Lord said it's unclean. It's basically a walking, it's a, uh, it's a walking garbage disposal. Yes, it is. So, as you see, there's shrimp crab lobster system. That's why the seeds when you was growing up was a whole lot cleaner. All I remember right. when I was sitting there growing up, the water looked a whole lot better than what it looked now. You're right. So, if you sit there eating the 50 feet of sisters and your body ain't built to sit there and clean the toxins out, damaging yourself. Great. So come back to see the people who are commanders. Great. All right, now you Israelite, repent. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Woman Lock Yahweh Shai. We'll sit there along with us to see they come out here today. I'd like to give honors uh, to the brothers that's out here doing the work and sit there and, and constantly sit there pushing this truth. I'd like to also give honors to the brothers that's not out here as of yet, but that's applying to their 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. I also like to give honors to the city there, to the women out there that sit there being uh, amazing mothers at home, teaching their kids the law, statutes, and commandments, building them up to be righteous men and uh, men and good uh, women in this truth. I also like to sit there and give uh, honors to the city children that's applying the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 12, honoring their mother and their father. I also like to give honors to the city there, to the elders that's out here doing the work as well, constantly pushing this truth. Now, you see they come out here week in and week out. To sit there to compel our people to come back to the truth. To coming back to the Most High God, our power, to keep His laws, that His commandments. Everybody sit there want to love to sit there, the heathen nations, man. But these heathen nations don't give a damn about our people. Right. Hey, brother, you right. got a couple of minutes to hear the words of the Lord? <laughs> All right, then, brother, you is like repent. We want to continue to sit there love the heathen nations, man, not knowing to sit there that the heathen nations, especially the so-called white man, are our enemy. Right. Man, they don't sit there, they don't know that they're our enemy because they won't sit there and pick up this book and read it. But right. The book tells us all the time who our enemy is. Speaking of them, who won't sit there dive into their thought process a little bit? See how they sit there go about their life. Give me the book of sit there, Psalms chapter 58, verse 3. Give me the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Start at verse 5. Let me get that Psalm first. This is Psalm chapter 58 and verse 3. Break it up. Oh, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Wicked are estranged from the womb. They come out automatically strange. Continue. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking words. So when they are born, they automatically come out the womb telling lies. You know? Like it's nothing. That's what they do. That's in their nature. 
So let's get into their thought process a little bit and see how they really get down. Bring that out, King. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Five. In verse 5. Bring it out. Bring it for our time is a very shadow that passeth away. So this, they believe that this time that they have is a very short time. This is what they believe. Continue. And after our end, there is no returning. Okay. For it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. So they sit there and feel like they got a short life to live, so they're going to do it up. They sit there and they, they believe and say that they're not going to live again sit there after this uh after this world sit there uh pass away. Right. right. It's not true though, because they gotta sit there, they got some some uh they got some things to sit there and do when they sit there and come back. Right. They got some serving to do. That's right. right. The same way we had to serve them when we got here. Huh. Right. But five years ago they sit there and have this thing that uh they came up with this new term called uh death by despair. Economic death by despair. Due to sitting there, drugs, alcohol, and depression. Meaning what? These sides dying off faster than they can reproduce. That's right. They sit there, they 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 never really they, they see themselves not really having a chance. They got this, you got this one being there that just came out on TV two weeks ago. It goes by the name of Peter Nygaard. That sit there that that sat at the table with our black uh Israelite sisters trying to buy their their DNA, their stem cells, their uh, embryos, and their eggs. Why? Because, speak, uh, honestly speaking, we are intellectually, genetically, and physically better in every way. That's right. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse number 6. Bring it out. For thou art in the holy people. Thou art in the holy people. We are separate from everybody else. Unto who? Unto the Lord thy God. With the Lord thy God. Continue. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Above all people. Above who? Above, above all, all people. people. Above all people. That's what I just said. We are better in every way. That's why I sit there, we cook the best. We sit there, we dance the best. Anything that you can think of, we do it the best. Why? Because the Most High blessed us like that. That's right. We're not even sitting there supposed to sit there and uh, mingle ourselves with these other nations. Especially Esau. Go to verse 3. Verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter, thy, thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Our daughters we shall not supposed to give to their sons. Right. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. And our sons are not supposed to take their daughters. Continue. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. They yeah, turn our people away to serve, to serve other gods. Continue on with verse 4. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. And that's why we see they got jammed up. Now go to the book of Hosea chapter. Give me Hosea 7 and uh Hosea 7 and 7. Actually, Hosea 7 and 8. Because when we sit there and mingle amongst these people, we are, we are sitting there messing our own DNA up. We are sitting there weakening our own people. That's why I sit there, we're supposed to stay within our own nation. We can't continue to sit there and produce sitting there these Mike Tysons, LeBron James, and sit there on uh, 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 Steph Curry's when we mingling with these other nations because we're sitting there, we're, we're dying off, we're killing off our own genes. Bring it out. This is Hosea chapter 7 and verse 8. Bring it out. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. Let's see what happened when he did so though. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Ephraim is a cake not turned. That's why it's hard to say to even tell who our brother is out here, man. Right. We sit there, he done mingled himself amongst these other nations so much, man, that you can't even, you can't tell who he is. Huh. But, you gotta try the spirit by the spirit. You bear witness, man. Lord's willing, you be who you are. Continue on. With, uh, who's it? Verse 9. Strangers have devoured his strength. Strangers have devoured his strength. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. We know ourselves that these other nations will sit there and will drain our strength. Weaken our people. Continue on. That he knoweth it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him. And yet he knoweth it not. And they don't know a damn thing. Old and all, and they have no clue what's going on. That's why people went off the straight. 
What's going on, Kia? Can I help you, man? Uh, you know what we out here doing? Yeah, he, he, about that. He, he let me know already. But you can let me know more if you want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we out here doing is to let our people know that we're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Everybody said they say that the Bible said it was written to everybody, but that's not true. The Bible said they written to a specific people. Right. You know about the story of Moses? I know a lot, but you know, I'm, I'm like more, I want to hear what somebody got to say. That's the like, and, take my, and take my own opinion on it. Yeah. The first word you just said, everybody is written for certain things, certain people. Right. I agree with that. So I don't want to hear what you got to say. You need to go from there. And if I agree and disagree, you go from there. All right, brother. Who's in this? Who's in this? Who's in this? So Moses sitting there. Well, Moses went to Pharaoh. He said to told Pharaoh, let my people go. He didn't say let the uh, the Moab, the Chinese man go. He didn't say let the uh, Japanese man go. He didn't say let the white man go. He said let my people go. Right. Who's his people? I'm going to sit there to show you who his people is in the book of uh, Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. For this shall come to pass. And he's telling the people after he got them uh, walked them out of Egypt. When he, when he, he parted the Red Sea, that the Lord gave him laws, text, and commandments to relate to them. And if they don't say they can use commandments, they will see what happens. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all, all these curses, curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now he's talking to the Israelites. According to this context, is to see that curses are a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so let me see this here, this way there. He's telling them, look, if you don't do what the Lord say do, right. he's going to curse you. Right. Is that good or bad? Right. Come on, brothers. Bad. It's bad, bad but I'm bad. saying, I don't, I don't know how y'all think. I don't want everybody to. I'm going to argue with that. I like no, a curse word. Oh, yeah, once once sure. you give me an answer, okay. I can sit there and tell you if you're right okay. or not. So just, just walk with me. But you already said it said it's bad. bad. Yeah, I'm gonna read uh, 16. Verse 16. <laughs> Curse shalt thou be in the city. Curse shalt thou be in the city. So when you go on to sit there to uh Horseman, uh uh Chi-Town, sit there in Brooklyn, New York, what uh, nation of people you be seeing sleeping on the uh on the sidewalks, strung out on drugs, begging for money, trying to make ends meet. That's right. I'll be. Continue on, King. And curse shalt thou be in the field. And curse shalt thou be in the field. Sit there. What people, nation of people was working in the, uh, from sun up to sundown and the blistering, getting back to getting for free. What nation of people dealt with that? I'll be correct. You agree? All right. Give me uh, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. So, when I was sitting there, people was out there working in the field, getting their back feet in. They would go the uh, so-called white man would go in there, snatch our kids out of the shacks, sit there, uh, use them as alligator bait to sit there to, uh, to make wallets. They would sell them to other plantations, and our people can't do a damn thing about it. They'd be working in the field one minute, and then they stop, start crying. They can't do nothing. They thinking about their child all damn day. They still do that to this day, right? Child Protective Services, you beat your child ass, they sit there knocking on your door. Right. Hey, I heard you beat your child, I need, I'm gonna need, I'm, you ain't doing right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or they sit there feel like you ain't beating your child a specific type of way. They, can, they, can, they come and take it. Right. Give me 37. Verse 37, and thou shalt become an astonishment. They shaking your head at you. They, we were sitting there, in the days of old, we was at a, at a high state. We was on top. But now, they looking at us and like, damn. These are the people that was at top. Continue on. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. A proverb is, you see there, you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. Black niggas love watermelon. I agree with that. They eat, black niggas I love chicken. I don't like watermelon. I don't like watermelon either. See what I'm saying? Then you, uh, you know, continue on. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead. A byword. So as far as the byword, sit there, you're not really called to sit there, uh, you're not really an uh, African American. You would be. What's your father sitting there? If you would sit there sign on uh, the application, what would you put? Other. Yeah. Black people, back, back, black, African American, all together. You? What was the question? If you were to sign the application, what would you sign up there? What would you put as your nationality? African 
about nationality, I was for black, but that's why the fuck you didn't get reparations. Well, you put black. Well, you know, we can sit there and touch the reparations, but as far as he made it in the as far as he made it being called African American, that's not who we really are. If y'all see the African American, y'all would be from the tribe of Jew. That's the tribe of Jew.
dropped the dog on shovel, and you just started to get ground. Weeping and wailing. Thinking about your child. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, won't, it won't sit there and let, you know, teenager, that took out, took the smartest of our babies. One that was still into their, our makeshift cribs. Two year old, three year old. Teach up. Taking our kids to sit there and tell them to another damn people. And we can't do nothing about it. They still do that to this day. You know about CPS, right? Say they whoop your child's ass, they come knocking on your door, snatch your child up. They say you're not feeding your child correctly. The child say they have tardy in school. They come to your house and say that they take your child from you. And can you do anything, do anything about it? Hell no, you just gotta see the damn word. Messed up, baby. 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. Meaning, see, that when we, and there was, in the days of old, we was at a high state. We was on top. They will admire us. But then, we got put on the lower state. And now we're in astonishment. See how people see they out here doing the most, the most foolish shit. And now they just shaking their head. It's like, really? You know what I'm saying? These are the people that was at top? Really? Continue on, huh? And a, a proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. A proverb is something like you put something, you want to have something from a nigga, put it in a book. Niggas love chicken. Niggas love water now. That's, how they say, that's what they say about us. The byword. You sit there and say you're Venezuelan, Colombian, right? That's a byword. You would really be sitting there ash. That's your sitting there God given nationality, God given name. The tribe, the respective tribe that you came from. You're not a damn right. Venezuelan. Damn Columbia, man. You know what I'm saying? You ask, right? Right. Verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. The Lord said that said that we want to serve our enemies. How? Let's find out. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent our enemies against us. In hunger. In hunger. So whenever you see them want to hit one of these spots up right here, we don't own none of this. What, what nation of people own this? white man. The white man don't own these spots. You know what I'm saying? They hate our guts, man. Continue on, Ark. And in thirst. They water that comes freely out the ground and freely out the sky. They put it in the bottom and charge you for it. Utility bills. Right. They sit there charge you for that. The Lord said that's, that, that was just sitting there free, uh, 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 free natural resource and they charge you for it. Continue on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. The clothes you got on your back. Clothes I got on my back. The clothes we all have on our back, they own. We picked all the damn cotton. We don't have no textile business. No clothing departments. None of that. We don't have none of that. See you on. And in one of all things. And one of all things. Death certificate. You, when you see there and die, you gotta get a death certificate. You want a license, you gotta go to them and get that. You want to sit there and get a business license, you got to go to them to get that. Everything you want to get, you got to go to them for. The white man, correct? You know what I'm saying? So, madness, man. Madness. Continue on, Hop. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Continue on. Until he have destroyed you. See that yoke of iron right there? That was us. That was our people that had a yoke of iron upon that, on, on our neck. You know what Yeah. Exactly. It's sitting there and we that's the same way you put it uh it said until you he had destroyed me. You got a pet? You got a pet dog? You got a pet dog? Oh yeah, yeah, I got So you training your dog, you put a leash on his neck. So that so you gonna leave the yard. I can do whatever I want. But but see there but once you train him and then put that 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 leash on his neck, so he won't leave the yard. After a while, if you train him, you will remove the, uh, I mean, I got the leash. Does he, does, he, does he leave? Nah, I'm running away, yeah. You train, train him up, right? The same thing. In the days of old, our people would rather die than sit there and break the laws, statutes, and commandments about the Lord thy God. Our God, our power. You know what I'm saying? You see, they only, he, he only gave the laws, statutes, and commandments to us. That's why we're getting our hands kicked. Go to 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is synonymous with sitting there with slavery. House of bondage. Read the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You know that? 
out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, out of the house of slavery. That's what he said. Continue on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into Egypt again. Do you know how we got here? Okay, continue on. With ships. With ships. We came over here on slave ships. Big ass cargo slave ships sit there stacked on top of each other. Our woman was sitting there on their menstrual cycles. People used the bathroom. Had all types of nastiness and diseases going on. But they had to sit there compacted. The damn cargo ship. By the hundreds. That's right. Continue on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. You don't see them sitting there in the same Egypt again. Not the physical Egypt over there across the sea. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. The Lord goes again saying unto your enemies. Who's our enemies? That's right. That's Great. right, Kate. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody there to redeem you. Marcus Garvey, Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X, Frederick Douglass. None of them can get us out of our current situation. Why? Because the Lord goes high and I'm putting stretched out his hand again. And nobody can remove his hand. You, you understand what I'm saying? So we sit there out here telling them that's what we're teaching our people. Now, let me ask you something. Will you eat uh, pork? We'll give you some commandments, guys. Like I said, if, if breaking our God's laws got us put over here, so what do we got to do to go back home? That's right. Do what he said they told us to do, correct? Leviticus 11 and verse 7. Break it out. And the swine. Though he divide the hoof, swine, though the swine is the pig. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, although he have some characteristics of a clean animal, yet he chewed not the cud. He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. It's of true. their flesh ye shall not eat, and their carcass ye shall not touch. They are unclean to you. So we're not supposed to eat, nor touch the carcass of a sick dead pig. Right. We're not supposed to mess with that. They're clean. They, they were, in the days of old, they had what, is, uh, what you would call pig man. So when I people would have trash, before they came up with the trash, uh, trash disposal company, they said that we had, we, we were using pigs. The pig man would come once a week and let the, his, uh, his flock of pigs eat all this the trash, garbage, and everything up. Pigs said they were doors. Yeah, they said that they eat all the unclean things because they clean everything up off the ground. That's what they were made for. They have no sweat glands, and they basically have like a sewage valve in their body. It just oozes out nastiness, man. It's just it's striking. Right. That's why I'm sitting there when they cook them up in the butcher shop. You see, they sit there in certain parts of the pig. You see, they have that that green pus come out. That's the toxins and stuff in this body. And when you sit there and you and you're consuming that, they think they clean it all out, but you, but it's not. And you see, they got worms in your body, worms in your brain. No. There's right. all kinds of things that are going on in your body, man. That's where all these diseases come from. Gout, cancer. Right. You know what I'm saying? All of that is coming from eating unclean, unclean pig. So, brother, you know now that you're not supposed to say they eat pig. Now let's sit there and see what you're supposed to eat out of water. You eat the crab, bop. Okay. Bring it out anyway. Leviticus 11 and verse 9. Bring it out. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Uh huh? Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So the only thing we're supposed to eat is sit there in the waters that it has to have fins and scales. If it don't have fins and scales, it's an unclean animal. The same way the pig is the land uh, disposal, uh, trash disposal, that's what they sit there the other creatures are for. Especially the, the uh, crab, shrimp, crab, I mean uh, shrimp, crab, lobster. They clean out the sea. That's why the waters are so muggy and nasty right now. Right. And so, and when it, so by, if you consuming that, and once again, putting them toxins in your body, your body's not built to sit there and get rid of them toxins. So you sit there banging yourself up. You sit there and you can, uh, yeah, for free. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't even worth it. And then they charge your arm a leg to eat the shit. A lobster, $50. You're not even supposed to eat it. So why even pay for it? You know what I'm saying? Sick shrimp. Mark. You know what I'm saying? So you, you gotta sit there stop eating those things. Now, let me get uh, Leviticus, uh, I mean Numbers uh, 15. This is Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Once again, you hear him say, Speak unto the children of Israel. You will be Israel. Listen. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. 
Uh, what's something all me and my brother say that have in common? What is something that you see that me and my brother have in common? Friends. All of us have friends. T1. Bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. We still generate. We still populate and have a kid. So as long as we still generate and populate and have a kid, we won't sit there and continue to wear these fringes. Continue. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. So no matter what color our fringes may be, we all got a ribbon of blue. Crazy. You can wear whatever skin color you want. Make sure you got that with the blue around. Alright? Let me get, um... Shout out to all your beards. Uh, Leviticus, uh, 19 of them. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out! You got a little, little stuff right here. You save it? Save it. They shall not make baldness upon their head. I'm not supposed to shave my head bald. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cutties in their flesh. I'm not supposed to shave the beard. Our beard, our beard is our dignity. Just like sitting there, when we said they came off the slave ship, they said they shaved off our beard and called us a boy. How do you know the difference between a male lion and a female lion? If you see a male lion, how do you know you see a male lion and you see a female lion? What's the difference between the two? What do the male lion have that a female lion don't have? His mane, his hair, you that big, big bushy part that he has, that, that's his dignity. That, that's how you know you came across the male line. Same thing with your beard. You're not supposed to be cutting your beard off, having having this smooth baby face. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to grow your beard off, man. Right. And you got to see they get you your fringes. You have any questions? You got no questions. Appreciate All right, brother, man. You sit there and come back, man. Keep the commandments, right. man. Thank you. you sit there. You don't have no fly on you nah, right now? Nah. Oh. Huh, huh. Yeah, you got, you got a phone on you? Yeah, yeah you can take a picture yeah, of that. Uh, watch me for Israel. As, you can, as everybody can tell, the earth around us right now is withering away. The earth is dying. So in the process of where earth is dying, they trying to live, live it up to the best of their ability before everything see, they go, it becomes desolate. Right. They doing everything they can to, to suck all the life out of the earth, out of the earth right now. Continue on. Verse. Verse nine. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion and our lot is this. They sit there and said, let us leave our tokens. They had what? The Golden Gate Bridge, the dog on Lincoln Memorial, Washington uh, Monument, Mount Rushmore. They left all these tokens to let us know that they've been here. Well, guess what, Esau? We don't give a damn. We waiting for all this to be destroyed. Bring that out. Because they sit there saying that this is their portion. This is their lot. That is, there, there's some truth to that. Watch this. Second Ezra chapter, 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 chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. For what? For Esau is the end of the world. For what? For Esau is the end of the world. Continue on. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See? That's right. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the world that followeth. So they sit there, they got, they got a little bit of truth to their they thought process. Just a little bit though. Righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the egg. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 50. Go. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old. No sure favor to the young. They, they said they don't have no regard for the old or the young. That's why they able to sit there, walk up in your house, and snatch an elder up out of the house while he's naked. They snatched the elder man up out of his house while he's naked. They took an elder sister out of her house while she was naked. Right. 
That's why they say they're able to sit there kicking out the door while you in your bed resting, trying to get some sleep. And they say they can blow your damn top back. Right. That's why they sit there, can pull you off the corner of the street and throw you on the ground, or sit there pull you out your car and drag you to the, in front of somebody else. Get on your back and sit there, and as you try to rise up, they pull the trigger on you. Right. Uh, Verse 11. Let our strength be the law of justice. That which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. They said, let our strength be the law of their justice. Y'all heard the saying of, let me, I can be the judge of that. That's how Esau, that's an Esau thing. They tell our men that they're weak. They tell us that we're nothing. They tell our sisters got down more they need to, they, their hair need to be straight. They tell our men they need to shave their beards if they want to get a job. Right. They tell our people that we're not worth it there. And y'all just accept it like it's nothing. Y'all want to say they love, want love for Esau so bad. When he said they had no, he had no significant feelings for you. You know? And they said that if they could, they'll wipe us out right now. They only have a few things. Uh, when they, the only thing I see that is helping us out right now is the most high. That's right. So when the most high remove his grace and open up the gates of hell on this jank, then you all can be sitting there looking crazy. I am waiting for the righteous because he is not for our turn. And he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraided up, us with our offending, with our offending the law, and objecting to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. Even if we can see that first back in chapter three, they said we're contrary to their doing. Let's see. First back in chapter three and verse twenty. They come against us and must pride and iniquity to destroy us. And our wives and children and, and to spoil us. But we fight for our lives and our laws. We, we fight for our lives and our laws. Other men. We, we're contrary to what they're doing. That's why I said that they, 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 they hate us. They hate the Israelites. Why? Because we come against see, the homosexuality. Right. We come against sitting there, uh, 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 their, their law that they sit there put forth. The law sit there tell tell us to sit there, uh, for man not to sleep with man like you like you sleep uh, like you lay with woman kind. Esau say do the opposite. You can sleep with another man. The law sit there told us to sit there, told our woman to wear a dress. Esau tell our woman to put on pants. Right. The Lord told us to sit there and not eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and Esau said eat. We ain't going for it though. Why? Because we seem to have respect and fear our power. You know? The how about shit y'all was shot. Right. But I see that we not, we not dealing with, how can we be for sin in Esau's turn? Esau is totally contrary to what the most high, our powers that they gave us. Continue on. Bring it out. He professed to have the knowledge of God. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. And they don't like that. They hate the fact that we proclaim that we know the knowledge of God. But we do know the knowledge of our most high father. Because uh. he's given it to us. Why wouldn't we? They mad because they see that they can't open this book up and, and can't gain no understanding. Right. They open this book up and it's like looking at the, the Matrix code. But we the ones that's, that's made to the disciple. Give me the book of Psalms 147 and verse 19. Psalms. Chapter 147 and verse 19. Bring it out. And it reads, He showed this word unto Jacob, His statute and His judgment unto Israel. No, everybody. Unto Israel. No, Moab. Unto Israel. No, Ammon. Unto Israel. No, the Africans. Unto Israel. Only to Israel. Tion. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He hath not dealt so with any other nation. And as for His judgments, they have not known them. We don't want to know His judgments. Right. We're dealing with it right now. That's why we're in this terrible, terrible situation, man. Being, a, being having to sit there, being a servitude to these doggone heathens, man. 
Where the Messiah in chapter 2 and verse 13, he professes to have the knowledge of God and he calls himself the child of the Lord. All the children of the Lord. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. What? You, you only, only have, have I known. Say it one more time. You, you only, only have, have I known. known. You only have I known. Israel. Not the whole world. And, and all the other nations hate that. Oh. They can't stand the fact that we're the chosen seed by the Lord thy God, man. And we love it. Then we're going to ask King right now, but hey, listen, there's reward after this. Those that endure to the end. Right. Of all the families of the earth. Of all the families of the earth. So Esau, you're not getting none of, you're not getting none of that reward that we see this earth. And with, like, and with that, I'd like to sit there and uh, bring up uh, the next mighty speaker, next dynamic and mighty speaker. Warm that shrug. Warm that shrug. Y'all got one minute to hear the word? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, all praise. 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 All the book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 14. Right now, the elders have ceased from the gate. Right. The young men from their select, the young men from their music. Right. The joy of our heart is ceased. Our dance is turned into mourning. Right. The crown is falling from our head. The what? The crown is falling from our head. The what? The crown is falling from our head. Woe unto us that we have saved. We in a situation, King. Hey, we said. The crown has fallen from my head. We call each other kings, but we drop the crown, man. We must remember that, right? That's right. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta, we gotta follow these commandments and, and walk right. like the king. That's act right. like the king. We can't just call each other king or oh, put on my crown. Nah, you not the trend. Listen, hey, hey, man, hey, bring that out, kid. The Book of Job, chapter 21, verse number seven. Bring it out. out. Wherefore do the wicked live? Become old. They are mighty in power. Right. Th their seed is established in their sight with them, right. and their offspring before their eyes. Right. Their houses are safe from fear. Neither is the rod of God upon them. Right. Their bull gendering and faileth not. Right. Their cow cabin and casteth not her calf. Right. They send forth their little ones like a flock, right. and their children dance. Right. They take they take the timbers and harp and rejoice at the sound of of the orcs. So we're gonna let y'all know who y'all are, man, because you know what I'm saying? We kinda get in this thing, man. Because we wanna know what's going on. Because it's 18 different nations in the Bible if y'all didn't know, right? Right. right? right. So we Wait, come... I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So it's 18 different nations in the Bible, right? right? And we all come from different nations. Right. We come, yeah. we are the nation of Israel. Right. right. You know what's cool about what I do? Because I bury everything. This is the book of of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. The first came out what? And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. What's this man? They called his name Esau. Hey, so you will be an Edomite according to the Bible. Right. Right. You know, you're not white. You know what I'm saying? You're red. That's right. right. Would you agree with that? Oh, Jesus and them are not white. Right. I'm saying about you. You, y'all, you are. 
Because all are white, um, red, y'all are not white. Do you agree with that, right? Red? What do you mean? The feds are the dark. I mean, pink is red, you're not white. Oh, I don't know. Right, right, right. And we're not black. We're not the color of our shirts. No. Right? The Lord never called the white no. Right. So what right. we just read was y'all nationality and the white. No. We just taught y'all something. So you will be an Edomite, right? Right. And um, you get the book of, want to get the book of Romans? So are I mean, you, like, um, like, in the nicest way? Like, what is, like, the, uh, like, point of it? The like, point? Yeah. The point is that, that y'all, you, you people, the so-called white man, y'all have to pay for all the rape, robbery, and murder that y'all have committed against the children of Israel, which is everybody on this side. Right? That's right. 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 Uh, and we know that your, your forefathers have done it, but their children have to pay for their sins. Just like we are saying, yeah. no, not reparation, because reparation is when the Lord's come back uh, and, and put, and put yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have another, we have another yeah. name. So you're saying you want a, you want you want a monetary repayment for the struggles you went through? Oh no no no! It's not it's not it's not money, right? Oh, it's, right. It's, it's it's actually death. And we can read it in the Bible, it, um, Isaiah chapter fourteen, Bring it out. verse twenty one. Because somebody has to pay, right? Because right. it's all the Lord is about justice. So we're damned to hell because we're we're. I mean, get out. Yeah, basically, basically, because you have to pay for what you bought. Uh, because right now you're walking on stolen land. Like we're walking on blood, right? You now. just want to make us feel bad today? No, no, no. Y'all came up, we came to well, educate you. You're not giving us a solution. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So the Lord said, prepare slaughter for his children. Man. Right. So your your father. So I'm damned to hell because I'm pink. That's right. Well. That's right. It's nothing you can do about it, man. So you might as well, you know what I'm saying, get ready for captivity, man. That's right. Because right. y'all got to go into captivity, too. Right. right. That's right. Oh, I don't want to do it. So it is what it is, man. That's, it is what it is. Get Romans chapter 13 and verse 11, man. Get uh, verse Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse number 10. Bring it out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Hey, we can't wait, man. You right. know what I'm saying? They got to go into captivity. You know what I'm saying? They got, hey, they got to get ready right now, man. And their kingdom is over, man. The kingdom is over. Hey, pan the camera. Look how they living it up on the Lord's Sabbath day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this place got to be destroyed, man. First Thessalonians, what? First Thessalonians, five. Right. 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 The Book of Romans, chapter thirteen, and verse number eleven. Bring it out. And it reads thus: And that know the time. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Right? Hey, our salvation is nearer than what, when we believe, man. It's right. time to wake out of sleep. It's time to stop getting drunk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Off on um, Babylon, the white man's on um, wine. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it, it's time. It's time to wake up, man. That's right. It's time to um, stop breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. right. Just coming out being a nigga, smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Doing all types of um, wickedness, man. That's right. It's time to separate from your enemy, man. It's time to wake out of sleep, man. It's time to do the work. And you should be out here with us, man, with fringes on, doing the work. That's right. 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 You can bring that out, King. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse number 2. Bring it out. For yourselves know, know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Huh? Hey, so the day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night, right? We can't see it. What a thief do, man? A thief, he comes in secrecy, right? That's He's not right. going to let you know, hey, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to come when you least suspect it, man. Right. And you know what I'm saying? He's going to put all these heathens to death, man. That's right. Because you know they got to pay. And they walking, you know what I'm saying? All different nations, man. And they turned the Lord um, rainbow and, um, into a, a damn sex symbol, man. A lot of fruity dudes out here, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's going crazy, man. Hey, so, hey, the Lord's going to come like a thief in the night, and he's going to save his people, man. That's he's right. He's going to put two-thirds of our people to death because they didn't repent. That's right. And, he, and he's going to kill the other nations, man. That's, that's right. right. And that's what's going to happen, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so, after first, that's alone. Can you grab that? Uh, Bring it out. 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 Bring it
Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hey, you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, man. Because right now, our people are prisoners, man. They are prisoners that sleep. You know what I'm saying? They drunk off the wine. You know what I'm saying? They in captivity, man. And they don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? The truth shall make you free. Knowing the white man is a devil, that'll set you free, man. 